Hi, this is Lisa from Buzz Tools. In this quick video, I'm going to go over a few getting started suggestions for Buzz Tools Plus users who have recently upgraded their software to Buzz Explorer. Don't worry, it's super easy, but it may take a minute or two to set up your Buzz Explorer to your liking. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you screens from Buzz Tools Plus and where you would find the same settings in Buzz Explorer. Feel free to pause the video at any time and locate the areas in Buzz Explorer so you can easily find them again in the future. Both Buzz Tools Plus and Buzz Explore show you the files you already have on your computer. The only time you need to worry about moving your files would be if you had a brand new computer. Then you would need to move your embroidery design files from your old computer to your new computer. However, in this tutorial we are assuming that you are just upgrading your software and that your computer is staying the same. The main program in Buzz Tools Plus is called Buzz Catalog. Here's a screenshot of Buzz Catalog opening dialog. This is what you're used to seeing every time you open your software. You probably have it already pointed to your favorite embroidery folder, so you just click on past the screen without even thinking about it. However, if you still have Buzz Tools Plus installed on your computer, this is a good screen to look at as it will help you set up your Buzz Explorer in the same way. Don't worry if you don't have your Buzz Tools Plus anymore. You can still set up Buzz Explorer to your liking. At the top of the Select Files dialog is a drop-down where you can set the computer drive. If you have only one hard drive on your computer, you might not have ever changed this. However, if you have multiple drives or partitions, this might be set to something other than C. I keep my designs on my E drive, so that's what shows up here. You can now see that I've navigated to my E drive and selected two folders by clicking on the selection box in front of their name. Before we go, take a quick look at the File of Type drop-down. This is where you filter your file types so that only certain types of files display in your catalog. Mine is set to all supported types because I like to see all my embroidery and graphics files. Here is how my designs are shown in Buzz Tools Plus. Notice the amount of sewing information I've included in my catalog. If I want to go to a new folder, I'd have to start a new catalog and reselect folders in the Select Folders dialog again. Now let's find these same folders in Buzz Explore. The first time you open Buzz Explore, it might look like your designs are missing. You might feel lost and confused about where to start. Don't worry, in no time your Buzz Explore software will be set up the way you want and you'll be back to seamlessly working with your designs. The first thing we're going to notice is that there's no longer a drive dropdown and our folder tree is now incorporated into our Buzz Explore window. Using the navigation tree, I'm going to navigate to the embroidery folder on my eDrive. By default, your embroidery designs are shown in Explorer mode, which shows only one folder at a time. To use Catalog mode, which is more like Buzz Tools Plus, click on the New Catalog Toolbar button. Add folders to your catalog just like you did in Buzz Catalog by clicking on a selection box in front of the folder name. The difference, though, is that you can add and remove folders at any time and do not need to reset your catalog from scratch each time you do. Now let's set the sewing information we want displayed for our designs by going to Sewing, Summary Information, and selecting the Brief option. That's better. One last thing before we go. Remember that file filter we looked at in Buzz Catalog? The same thing is here for you in Buzz Explorer. You can toggle on and off your file filter by clicking on the Funnel button on the top toolbar. Choose which file types to include by clicking on the red selection box. Thanks for watching this quick video on Buzz Explorer. For more Buzz Explorer tutorials or to download the 21-day free trial, click on one of the links provided below.